Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Panzer Strategy as we are doing the invasion of Norway. Before we get started in today's match, we are going to do the giveaway. Uh, get the winner selected for those two keys for free copies of the game. Alright guys, so this is the random name picker that we're going to be using. There are 27 names on the board. That is 27 individuals who requested to get one of the two codes for Panzer Strategy. So that's that's really not bad odds. You know, two, two codes for 27 people, not bad at all. All right, well, hope you guys are excited. I know I'm excited. I'm excited to win. I'm not even winning anything, but I'm excited. I'm excited just to spin the wheel, honestly. I just want to spin this thing. So let's get started. Let's see who the first winner is going to be. Okay, so the first winner is T minus one. So in order to get your code, you're going to need to post down in the comments below uh, how you're going to be contacting me uh, and, you know, what your your name on that, that uh, site's going to be. So if you're contacting me on, on Twitter, uh, Facebook, those are the two main ways I'd see. Twitter, Facebook, or email, really, uh, would be the methods you can contact me. But you do need to post down in the comments how you're going to be contacting me and what your name's going to be. Um, unless it's email, I suppose. I, yeah, I don't know. See, I need to be able to tie your name, T-1, to whatever you're contacting me. So that's why I was saying that Facebook or, or Twitter might be a little bit better since you don't have to give your email out in that case uh, where the public can see it because otherwise anybody can contact me and tell me they're T-1 and I, I wouldn't know. Uh, so that's the way we're going to do it. So I can tie your, your YouTube name to uh, to the account. Um, so just let me know and I'll be uh, waiting to hear from you. Let's remove him from the list. We now have 26 names on the board and let's find out who the second winner will be. Okay, so it's going to be Ikar E. Ikar E. -E? Oh, I'm terrible pronunciation. I'm probably butchering your name. So sorry about that, but you are the second winner. Uh, so once again, same thing I told the last winner. Uh, make sure you post down in the comments below and uh, you know how you're going to contact me and then uh, I'll get you the code as soon as we can. So this is not the end because I do want to pick two runner-ups just in case those two individuals do not contact me. I'm going to give them like two to three days uh, to get in touch with me to get those codes. And if they don't, then I'm just going to give them away to the runner-ups because uh, I know people want to get these codes so they can play. So uh, let's do the first runner-up. And that is Michael Howard. So Michael Howard, you're the first runner-up. Uh, I'll post on, I don't know, I guess I'll post on our YouTube uh, uh, little uh, uh, community section, I believe what it's called. And I'll post on there that if, uh, you know, one of the people didn't get their codes in time, and then you'll be able to contact me and let me know how I can give you your code. Now, I assume that because they applied for it that they'll, they will contact me. But let's do one more runner-up just in case so I don't have to record this video again. And James. So James, you are going to be our second runner-up. Uh, so uh, obviously we talk on uh, on a Discord all the time, so you will know how to contact me if need be, and I'll let you know. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, we'll just have two runner-ups. I don't expect to have any issues um, beyond that. So let's go ahead and return to Norway and Panzer Strategy. All right, guys, welcome back, and congratulations to those two winners. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we have three turns in the book now after we press this in turn button with six turns remaining. So we are one third of the way done with the invasion if we want to get a gold victory, which we do. Uh, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Okay, so they are moving. They're moving their ships over here. That's a shame. Damn. Yeah. So they're going to sink that destroyer. And then after they're done with that, they're going to kill that unit over there. I'm sure. And they're going to kill that unit as well. All right. And these are all transport ships over here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is let's do our land units first before we do anything else. Start moving these guys around. Figure out what exactly we're going to do here. Uh, there's a unit here that we need to move. And we're going to want to put him into his uh, his transport ship. And let's get him moving. 
Um, we need to move this guy as well. I don't think he'll be able to bombard anybody. Let's go ahead and start getting him moving uh, over to help that other fleet. Uh, but that's the only naval thing we're going to do right now. Let's go ahead and get our other units moving around here. So we have a recon unit. Let's, um, I kind of want to go down this way, see what's over here. Just kind of slowly reveal if there's any units. There's a unit there. I assume there's also a unit here protecting. I don't actually know. I'm wondering if we can just grab it real quick. Who the fuck would be there? Is that the king? That is the king. All right, awesome. So we found the king. So when you take the king, if they didn't change this since last time I did a match, when you take the king, I believe it reveals where all of their units are. So probably something we're gonna wanna do here now actually. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and get the king taken so he can't get away from us. Because we don't know where he's gonna go. There we go. He has surrendered. That gives us intelligence of data. And now we know where everybody is revealed. Excellent. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and, oh, I can't move him any further. Oh yeah, well now we know. There's an infantry right there. All right, so th there's an infantry there. Uh, I got infantry here. We already know about those guys. Uh, who else is here? We got an anti-air here. That infantry that we are attacking is actually really, really weak. All right, um, we need to get that anti-air destroyed. I wonder if there's any way for us to do that right now. I don't know. So two destroyers there. Um, hmm, wow, look at all these transport ships. Are these all transports? Yeah, they are all transports and it's all infantry. So this is where they have all their transport ships. Uh, so two destroyers, the George uh, V class, which is the battleship and another destroyer. So that's their Navy. Three destroyers and a battleship. That's that's not that bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I wonder if we could move this unit here and then he not get attacked. Probably not. I don't think that would work. But I'm, I'm considering doing it just because. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and try and move him. Because I know that they're going to bombard him. Will they be able to see him? Well, he's yeah, he's going to be one. Hmm. Let's see if we can't move this guy into the trees. Would that provide any cover? I don't actually know. We're gonna try and get the hell away from these guys because I know they're gonna bombard that unit. They always do. Uh, that's why we have such difficulty keeping those those provinces up there. Um, could we have this guy sink him? He'd probably die. He is just a you know submarine. That's a destroyer. I wonder if he could attack. He could not. All right. So we have no way to engage their navy at this or their uh, destroyers at the very least at this point. This guy could not come over here and survive. It doesn't matter anyway. There's an anti-air unit, so that would be quite useless. I, I kind of feel like we need to use this guy while we can, um, while we can see all these units. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have him come over here and destroy this unit here and then start moving towards home. It said that he could move there safely without dying. So hopefully that's the case. Um, this guy could move as well. I don't think we're going to attack him. Let's just move over here. Attack him. There we go, excellent, can't move any further. We're just gonna try and get as many units destroyed as we can. And that did not work. All right, let's just, can we attack a different unit then? I don't think any, I don't think it's gonna work with anybody. Let's just get out of here. Usually when that fails, then you're revealed. Uh, we could move our ship over here to start attacking. I don't think they'll be able to get over here if we move all the way to this location right here. And let's see if we can't get some of these units destroyed. We'll destroy that guy first. Maybe. <laughs> get that guy destroyed forest, and then destroy this guy. And that's it. That's all we can do. All right. Um, submarine, he could come over here. Let's just move him right, right here for right now. Just to reveal if they happen to come over here. Uh, the destroyer. We are going to move him over there, but let's first destroy some stuff. <laughs> let's go and attack these guys. Uh, attack these infantry. And that's it. Let's go ahead and move him over here now to provide coverage. I don't think they'll be able to move over here and attack us. I don't actually know. If they can see us, they might be able to attack us. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy come over here, start bombarding. Yeah, let's bombard that guy and this guy. All right, where does, he can't attack us um, if we move our units over here. I think what we'll do Let's have the tank. Could the tank win? He could. Could the recon unit win? No, he wouldn't do as well. Let's have our tank come over here and seize this and attack him. All right, so he'll be able to attack us back, but that's that's fine. 
Uh, let's have the recon unit start to move forward. Oh, we still need to take these points over here, don't we? All right, so we're going to want to get that taken care of. Uh, we're going to want to hit that unit up as well. Uh, we'll probably just use our, our tactical bombers on this guy. Bomb bomb. Yeah, because I don't see what we could have. I don't think he would have been on a move over there. Maybe he could have. Do we have another bomber that we can check with? Yeah, it doesn't matter. He could. I don't think they could have gotten over there. And if we move here, we get hit by the anti-air. So, yeah, it's just not an option. So let's just bombard this guy then. There we go. And let's move him. And then hopefully the fighter can get the job done. There we go. Excellent. Um, so let's go to move him back over here since there's nothing else for him to do right now. He'll get on to, he'll land. And then we're going to want to bring this unit to go bombard this guy do a strafing run on him because we're going to try and take that city for the prestige and because frankly this is going to be a slow slow process getting these cities we have a lot of turns left but it's it, it just kind of slows down over there guys it's it's rough all right so we're going to land him and i think that's it for right now let's go ahead and start moving these units we do need to take that point so let's go ahead and grab it up it's going to get us some uh prestige and then we're going to go ahead and land our planes over there, or our uh, uh, paratroopers over there. So get him in an airplane, and let's have him come over here. And then he's going to land somewhere over here. What we're going to do with these paratroopers is we're going to attempt to have them come up through here and then attack the artillery in the back so that when our troops attack, uh, the artillery will be destroyed. Uh, that's the idea anyway. We're going to try and make that happen uh, with those paratroopers. We'll see if it works or not. Uh, so with these guys, um, this is our artillery unit. We're going to want to move him up as close as we can get him. Uh, we'll move him right here, I suppose. And the infantry, we're going to have them... Oh, Lord, let me just see here. I guess we'll have this guy come over here so he can start maybe bombarding right away. I'll have to see. Um, he might be too close. All right, let's bring him over there. That guy sees there. There's some more victory points. Uh, and then we're going to have this guy come over here and grab up a point. Then let me see uh, where units can reach before we go doing that. Uh, so this infantry here is going to go... Let's see here. Do we have any other recon? We do. All right, let's have the recon guy. He's going to grab this and go over here. Have this infantry grab that point. Oops. If I can just click it. Grab it. And then the recon or whatever it was we have here, headquarters, will come seize the victory point. All right, excellent. And I think that's might be everybody. Let's move these guys. We could put them into the into the planes now, uh, but we're not going to do that yet because I need to see what happens over here. Whether we need to drop a another paratrooper over there or a first paratrooper. I forgot that one that's over there is not a paratrooper. He is. Uh, he came by sea. All right, let's see if there's anybody left to move. Uh, we do have an infantry unit here that can move, so let's go and get him going. Oh, let's have him go over here. Oops. God damn it. I'm trying to move there. Have him go over there. Uh, anybody else still needs to move? Uh, we got that plane there. Fighter here. I don't think there's anybody for him to attack at the moment. No, there's not. I don't think the fighters can attack. Um, I don't think they can attack plane or ships, excuse me. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think they can. Let's have this guy grab this point. Honestly, anti tank is just not. Isn't that useful in this map, from my experience? Uh, because they don't have any tanks? All right, is there any other little points we can get for the prestige? Because I like some prestige. I don't see anything. All right, so it's just the planes. There's a submarine here that hasn't moved all his points, but that's okay. We're going to leave him where he's at. There's also, I'm saying he's got movement points, but he doesn't. All right, so I guess it's time to end the turn. Oh, Lord. It's always risky when you got to do this. Let's end it. Let's see what their ships do. They are going to come over here and destroy that unit. They are able to see him. They're going to bring the battleship as well, and he'll do the, the killing blow on him. All right. It's a shame. I knew they were going to do it. It's not surprising. Looks like they're moving these guys out. Not sure where they're going. You know what? We can click through all these. We don't need to see all their transports move. Okay. So this guy's got to come back home. He could bomb them and survive. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, let's just go ahead, go ahead and return home and land. All right. 
So the artillery, we need to bomb the anti-air. So let's go ahead and start taking care of that. Let's start bombing him. In fact, I think what we're gonna do is do the frontline artillery so we can try and bomb him as much as we can. And we actually destroyed him. Nice. Oh, that's really good. That means that we can bomb here. Now, of course, we do have some problems with that because of the fact that it's raining. So that means this tactical bomber is useless because he can't bomb during the rain. So we're just gonna have, have him go back. I guess we're gonna have to put all of our planes on here. That sucks, man. The rain. This is what I was talking about, guys. The rain in this map kicks your, your ass because you rely so much on your air force and uh, you just don't have have them available the entire time. Uh, let's go and move this guy to seize this. Tanks are gonna come up here. Let's wait to move him. Uh, we need to get somebody coming over here as well. We can have this guy do it. He could just do a... There we go. Embark and then come on over here. Uh, we won't attack yet. I don't feel like he's weak enough. And I don't want to move any other guys over there. So let's have this guy come on over here. We'll have him strike there. Get him destroyed. Although, damn it, I should have had that guy do it. All right, well, too late. Doesn't matter. Because I think he would have seized control of that. Uh, but it's too late now. All right, so we can't see any of their units. We have no idea where they're at. Um, damn. Yeah, I'd like to be able to reveal them, but I don't think that's going to happen. All right, we're going to have to move our... I don't really care so much about the submarines, but I think what we're going to end up doing... Let's hit him up. He's been destroyed. And we would have to move, which I don't want to do. I want to, I want to bring all of our fleet back down here until we're able to discover where their fleet is, use all of our navy at the same time. Uh, that's really the way you want to do it. Um, have your whole navy where we can engage them. So let's just bring our, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna keep them all like right here is what I'm thinking. That should keep them out of threat. I don't know. Uh, we can use the, the submarines though. I'm not too worried about moving them. Although they are nice to have because you can reveal where the enemy is. I thought we had a, a good submarine. Like a level, hmm, maybe we don't. All right, I thought we had a, a better submarine somewhere. Apparently that's not the case. All right, well, whatever. Oh, he's right here. There he is. <laughs> I thought we did. I wasn't sure, but yeah, we have one. Oh, he has to move to do that. All right, so we've destroyed him. Uh, and I think we're just gonna go ahead and move him now. Let's get him evacuated and get out of there, man. Um, we can also bombard that guy, hit him up. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I didn't want him to move though. Damn it. All right, so he's stuck there. That's a destroyer. I did not mean to move him. Fuck. They're gonna know we're over here now. All right, let's gonna move him over here. And then we're gonna move this guy over here. As we wait for the rest of our fleet to come up, uh, our cruiser, most importantly. Okay, um, I guess we gotta move our land units now. And I think we have a bomber that we can use as well. Uh, so this guy is... These guys should all be at home. So yeah, we have one bomber that we can use. And yeah, there's really not a whole lot we can do. If we bomb there, they might move that anti-air unit just to come fuck us up. There's no point of moving this guy here. We could bomb him though. I think that's what we'll do. Although I would prefer to have him available for next turn. Yeah, and we won't have we won't have the fuel if we do that. All right, you know what? Let's just wait. Let's be patient. There's not, it's just not worth it, that one point, uh, just for a little bit of prestige. Let's move him back and get him ready for next turn. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it since there's no important units to attack here at the moment. And let's go and get all of our land units moving. Uh, so we're gonna want to do this. I think we're gonna have to go up this route, guys. Let's go and get this guy moving now. We're also gonna go ahead and deploy this unit here. Right there. And that's where he's going to stay until we're ready. Hopefully they won't be able to see us there. I don't actually know if they can see us or not. Uh, hopefully they can't. Um, and what we'll do is we'll wait until we get the rest of our army over here. And what I think we're going to have to do this, I, I tried this once before and it, it worked out okay, is to go across the river to avoid the Navy. If you attack this point here, that Navy is going to dismantle our troops. Uh, they just just wreck your, your troops. So we're not going to do that. Uh, so I think we're going to go across this way because it's going to take us a little while to get the to get the uh, Navy destroyed, the British Navy. Uh, unfortunately, it does take a bit of time. Let's go and start moving the artillery as well. Uh, we're gonna get our recon. I should have moved the better artillery. Can he attack? No, he already attacked this turn, that's right. Um, we're not gonna move any further either. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving the HQ forward. And 
I think what we're doing is bringing the Pioneer Infantry. We're just going to bring this guy over here. He's going to help out with that city once he gets the opportunity to. We're going to get the recon moving as well. And Pioneer is going to be coming up over here. Uh, this recon unit will be moving up that way once it gets a chance. Uh, we have our Panzer 38 tanks. They're going to come up over here. And we also have troops over here. Our anti-tank troop, I think we'll just have him. Is there any victory points we didn't seize yet? I think we have everything as far as like uh, stuff that would get us get some assistance. We'll just move this guy. He's not going to be all that helpful. Anti-tank is just it's not all that helpful on the, uh, the Norway map because there's no, no tanks to fight. Uh, so we do know that we're going to need this guy up here now. I almost want to wait to have him move over there, though. I think that would probably be for the best, like, wait to move him until after uh, we get their fleet coming back down. I imagine that'll be next turn. So then we'll put him on there, and then it'll be one, two turns to get over there. And hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, that's the way we'll have to do it. So we'll keep him there for right now. Let's see uh, who else we still have left to move. Move those guys. Uh, the artillery, that's right, we're keeping him there for right now. Uh, these guys are going to stay where they're at. And they're going to stay where they're at. This infantry is staying where he's at. Uh, everybody is on an airbase right now. We do have a submarine that can move. But I don't think we will. Like, we're just going to come over here for right now. All right, and that's where we're going to stay. Our ass. All right. I don't think there's anything else left to do. Just end our turn. I'm tempted to get another bomber uh, to help deal with the the Navy. I'm really tempted to, guys. Uh, we got that money up there, that prestige, but man, we're gonna need uh, more fighters for the, the next map too. Yeah. You know what, let's, let's wait. Let's just go and end our turn. And let's just hope that our Navy and Air Force can get her done. Oh, nobody attacked anybody. All right, that that's okay. Fine, we'll, we'll sit with that. So now this is the big battle, guys, against their fleet. I have to uncover their fleet, figure out where they're at, so that we can uh, get them destroyed. Um, don't know where any of their units are over there, so not going to be able to do anything just yet. Let's go ahead and start moving this guy up here. Looks like they... Did they bomb? No, because we would have got a message that they bombed us. No, they definitely didn't bomb us. I'm tempted to have this guy start marching up that way, but we'll just drop a paratrooper over there. I think that'd be the best way to deal with that. All right, let's go and get our troops moving across the river. It's going to take some time. Uh, recon unit might be able to do it right away, though. All right, so he's revealing all their locations. Let's go ahead and get this guy going over here. You going over there. There we go. And we're going to need this tank as well. This is just not... It's not a great way of doing it, guys, but there's really nothing to do. Um, as long as their fleet is still here, I, I, I just know this from experience, guys. They they just dismantle your army uh, if you if you throw them out there, so we're not going to do that. So there is still an enemy there. We just couldn't detect them. All right, as soon as there might, uh, I think we'll just be bombing their location. Let's go and uh, bomb that, that enemy there. At least we're doing some damage to them. And then this tank here is going to be... I'll just leave him right here for right now. We can't do shit until we get those damn destroyers. I guess I should have waited to move because I could have attacked um, if we were able to get that navy destroyed. But it's too late now. All right, so it's no longer raining. So let's go ahead and get our planes moving out. And we'll see if we can't get some ships destroyed. Though I don't know where we're going to move our, our bombers yet. Hmm. We're going to have to uncover their navy i'm just gonna send a submarine to go to it <laughs> all right so we have detected units that have landed there those are the infantry units that we weren't able to destroy those transport ships and we are not aware of the enemy presence god damn it okay that's a shame i was really hoping we'd be able to find out where they're at shit could move this guy over there yeah, that's a that's a shame. Um, what I'm going to do here, he's not revealed. Let's just go and bomb that guy. Oh, he's spotted now. So hopefully, with him being spotted, the enemy ship should come down here to destroy him, which would then give us space to attack them. I don't want this guy revealed yet, so we're not going to attack these guys. It's not worth it. This is all about a game of uh, just being patient. Very, very patient, guys. We're just going to have to be cautious. Keep all of our fleet together. 
And we should have one more ship coming up here. All right, we got four turns remaining, guys. Oh, Lord. It's not the way I wanted this to go. Uh, I guess we can go in and bomb these. They don't have any anti-air here, I don't believe. So let's, unless they made some. Uh, so let's go ahead and start bombing them. Uh, we're going to take our, these guys here, and we'll just bomb, we'll just bomb this guy here. There we go. And that did destroy him. Excellent. And let's go ahead. He may, Okay, he's done. Yeah, all of our ships are done. Right, so let's just go ahead and start. We already moved all these guys. That's right. So we're going to want to bomb them. Uh, I'm going to bring one of my fighters out to do that. Uh, let's do this guy. Sure. All right, so let's bomb him. I should do a bombing or a uh, strafing run on him and then we'll attack and see if that was enough it was not enough to win all right uh these guys we're gonna want to go ahead and send them now embark on a plane and let's get him coming over here we already moved all these guys and then we're gonna bring him over here and hopefully he can get control of that city on his own because you just don't have enough time to move your units up there down the road. Uh, I've tried it before and it just doesn't work. That's why you often want to use paratroopers for that that location. Uh, and our other bombers. Probably going to send them over here to bomb these units. I don't know where else, what else, where else we'd send them for right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and he would just reach. Okay, we'll send him here. Get her done. All right, awesome. Let's move him back just in case they move any of those anti-air that we saw over there. And then this guy here, I mean, he could probably find them and bomb them, but I don't, I don't know where they're at, and I don't want to move and waste uh, the time that we could be using to instead uh, bomb some of these troops. So let's bomb this guy so we can get him out. Hopefully, get him destroyed. And he has fleet. Excellent. So with our remaining fighters, we're just going to continue uh, bombing. Uh, strafing these infantry here uh, Unless there's something else we can do. No, not really. All right, so let's just We'll hit this guy up There we go. He's been destroyed do this while we can because we just don't know what the weather's gonna do next turn All right, so and it seems that we now have an upgrade for that unit as well All right, so let's go and bomb this guy strafe on him and Let me go ahead and upgrade this guy level him up and I, I think we're going to do the all weather. I mean, it just seems like it's it's absolutely necessary. I hate that you got to waste a level up for it. Um, an enemy aircraft loses the ability to move for one turn. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's absolutely necessary. Yeah, we're going to have to do it. Because otherwise, you just wait. You just lose any turns, you know, where, they, where it's raining. Uh, so artillery, we're just going to leave him here. Infantry, he already did his attack. Uh, that guy's staying there as well. And that guy's staying there. All right, so I believe everybody has moved. We're going to go to end our turn, and oh, Lord, just hope that this goes well. Uh, that they don't tear, tear us up. Remember, their um, their ships can come over here and bomb us. So I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. They're going to bring their navy down here to destroy the submarine and destroy those planes, and that will reveal their presence for the rest of our navy to attack them. We'll just have to see, guys. They they don't destroy planes on their own. There's, okay, so there's one. I don't know if he'll stay there. There's two, so they're right there. We have to remember where they're at. They are shooting our planes. I don't know if they've moved already. There's another one. He's probably going to destroy that guy. He did. All right, so that's not surprising. They have been shooting at our planes this whole time. So we have to remember one, two, three. Those are the, those are the destroyers we have not yet revealed the big ship yet. Damn. I was really hoping it would reveal itself, but it has not. All right. So we're in such a vulnerable position at the moment. We've got to get these guys destroyed, but I don't want that battleship to be able to dominate us. Okay, let's see. How's the best? And I really want to be able to bomb him. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this submarine to hopefully reveal their presence. Uh, I don't know what else to, to do here. Uh, so let's just... Just move here. Oh, we did it. Is that him? No, that's never mind. I got all excited. That's the destroyer. Psh. <laughs> all right, just move here. He did not reveal him. God damn it. So he's still hidden as of right now, but they're going to use their sonar to, to locate him. What we can do is destroy their destroyers, though. So it's going to get those taken care of. 
Um, it's just a shame because I really wanted to reveal them, but yeah, there's no way uh, we'll be able to do it. Unless we moved here. Maybe if we moved here, we could reveal them? Nope. All right, so it is what it is. We're gonna have to just attack the, the destroyers. It's a damn shame. All right, let's bring this guy forward. Can he attack anybody? He's not gonna be able to attack anybody from here. Yeah, he can't do any attacks. All right, that's a shame. Uh, I was hoping that he would be able to help us out in this attack. Um, all right, so this guy doesn't have good odds. And neither does he. We're gonna have to use our planes and our battle cruiser first. And all of our planes will be focused on destroying them, though I think there's anti-air. There's anti-air somewhere around here. We saw them, there's two of them. They'll be able to support, if he's right there, I think that's artillery though. He'll be able to support them. So that's gonna be the last one we wanna use our planes on. We'd probably wanna use our planes on these two instead. Our really good one we we'll use on this guy. And he did provide support. It's not surprising. All right, let's get him moving back. Um, the next tactical bomber, let's go ahead and have him. Oh, he might be able to get him destroyed, so I'm really tempted to use him there. Yeah, let's go ahead and use him here. And they're going to continue providing support, but that's fine. And I want to say the fighters cannot. No, they cannot attack. It's a shame, but yeah, it's not an option. All right. Can he attack him and get destroyed? Maybe. I think it would probably reveal our presence by doing so. Uh, we do have one more tactical bomber that can get it done, but we're not going to attack him. We're going to attack this guy instead. All right. Let's get out of there. So, let's see if we can't finish this up with these units here. Uh, he, once again, he can't attack anybody, so that's a shame. Let's go and move him forward. I'm, I'm just really concerned that this is going to result in him getting destroyed by that battleship because we're going to be revealing our presence. Uh, and yeah, I think it's just gonna result in us losing him And I, I really don't want to lose this this ship Let's move here and Then attempt to get these guys all destroyed hit that guy first because he's weak There we go excellent then we're gonna hit this guy up and Then we're gonna have to fire on this one Do we have any more shots we do and That is it Okay, so there's only one destroyer left in that battleship somewhere out there. I believe he can actually... We, we're going to bring one of these over here because I feel like it's necessary. Because I, I want the battleship to spend his points on attacking these guys instead of me. We'll go ahead and attempt an attack there. Did not succeed. We could move this one over here to get him destroyed. It would probably behoove us to do so, actually. You know what? I'm going to attempt to do that. I'm going to move right... right here. And maybe he'll destroy our destroyers first, that battleship. I'm hoping he will. That'd be two shots. He'd still have shots left, but that wouldn't be enough to get us destroyed. All right. Um, so let's just hope that that was enough. Um, I feel confident that that battleship's probably not going to stay over here now. You would think so, anyway? Um, so let's go ahead and land here Disembark can we not disembark in the city seems no and Let's just hope that the battleship's not here because he could destroy our infantry in, in one turn and then We would be in some trouble. I don't know how we'd get over there. Uh, yeah, we'd be in a lot of trouble uh, if they did that So let's hope they don't <laughs> So I'm not too worried about the battleship now if he comes over here and destroys my units Then we'll destroy him and he won't be able to do any of the ships and then the ships would make up for any infantry that we lost uh, so let's go ahead and start moving our recon unit forward and start revealing their presence so that we can get into this fight. I feel, finally feel confident enough that we are going to be able to get this done. Uh, so let's go ahead and we are going to want to move the recon unit behind them to attack that artillery. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that now, actually. Yeah. Let me just see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Attack. Oh, yes, they have more artillery to support them. All right, well, we still attacked him. That's what's important. Uh, the recon unit's not going to be able to do anything because of... Uh, we're just going to move forward here and reveal their presence. Reveal all the units. And they might attack him, but that's okay. Um, the artillery, can he strike? He can. If we just moved one turn here, one space, and let's go ahead and start bombarding the infantry here. There we go. Did a little bit of damage. Let's go and get the... HQ unit going across. We're going to want our infantry going across as well. Let's get our tanks going across the river. 
move these guys too. Okay. Um, this recon unit can now move forward, uh, reveal their presence, because yeah, I, I'm not too worried about I'm not uh, too worried about the uh, uh, navy any longer, which is really nice. It frees us up. Let's go and move over here. Take that point. We can't see them yet, so I don't know if it would be wise for us to. You know what we could do? We could bomb them with these guys. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to support them or not. Let's just use our shitty fighter first. Let's use him on this guy. All right, so he shot him up a little bit. This is not our shitty fighter necessarily. It's a. Uh, we'll go ahead and bomb this guy too. It's our uh, auxiliary. Let's go and land him. And then I'm going to attempt an attack here, and hopefully we did enough. We did not. Damn, we might lose that infantry. I won't be able to take that city. That'd be a shame. Uh, I wouldn't want to lose him either. Uh, but, but yeah, I don't know why he's resisting so hardcore on us. We're having some difficulty. What I'm going to do is send this anti-air down there. I don't know if he'll be able to get it done, but uh, I just want the prestige down there. It's not important, but once again, the extra unit wouldn't have been helpful here because um, it's not a matter of uh, not having the units here. Uh, so let's go ahead and move this plane. I think he's the only one that hasn't moved yet. Let's go and attack those guys. I'm not going to attack here. Uh, it doesn't look like we have... Well, you know what? We could bomb them. Yeah, let's go and do that. And attempt to... We'll just destroy this guy. There we go. Excellent. And he is fleeing. So we'll be able to move our tank forward. It's not enough to, to take anything, but it's fine. Let's go and move the infantry forward. And we'll move this guy because whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll move him. Uh, anybody still need to move? It looks like the artillery did get an upgrade. Awesome. Let's go ahead and level him up. Uh, we want to give him... Let me just see here. We're probably going to go ahead and give him... Uh, I would like to give him a little bit of extra ammunition. That's always helpful. Uh, but I kind of want to give him the skilled attack instead. Let's let's do that. Let's give him the skilled attack. Level him up. All right. Excellent. Um, anything else left to do? Any other units that still need to move? There's the infantry unit. Yeah. He can't do anything at the moment. All right, guys, let's go and enter turn, and we'll see what happens with that battleship. I'm very alarmed about it. We have, we'll have we have two turns left to get this victory point taken. This one's pretty much ours. Uh, we still have that in our possession as of right now. Uh, we'll just have to see what he ends up doing. It's really up to him. He is going to go after the Navy. Okay. It's probably smart on their choice. Uh, he is going to go after my main ship. Damn it, he sunk the fucking cruiser. <sighs> that sucks. And we weren't able to fire back because it's a battleship and you can fire from too far away. <laughs> He's going to destroy my entire navy, so we're not going to get any navy support. Damn. That battleship is no joke, guys. And that infantry is coming forward, too, to grab that point. Oh, Lord. They're attacking us in the river. They're attacking the artillery. Okay. What's going on over here? The artillery is going to fire on him. Oh, good God. Yep. Doing some damage to that recon unit. All right, the anti-air is taking damage from all their attacks. The infantry has come back. So we lost our entire... Um, yeah, we lost the entire uh, navy. Not surprising. Uh, but what we can do is go ahead and, and bomb them here. Try and get him destroyed. So at the very least, he won't be able to provide any support for... Oh, wow. If we, we do this, I feel like it's worth it, though, if we can get him destroyed. Maybe we should use this tactical bomber instead. Oh, that's our tactical bomber, though. All right, we'll move this one. Okay, let's get out of there. We are not destroying him. God damn it. Shit. We do still have our cruiser. It just sucks that we lost these, man, because we could have used them in a later battle. All right, well, it is what it is. There's nothing to be done about it. I, I feel like we're going to have to send this guy as well. Like, there's just no there's no other way around it. And we're just not... We're not doing any damage. We're, we're damaging their equipment on there, but not them. <sighs> Damn it. But not their, uh, their stats. He's going to be around next turn. That's a, that's a shame, guys. We'll see what we can do with the submarines. And I just don't think that they're going to be able to get the job done either. Come on over here. Yeah, he was spotted. Um, so let's just see if the submarine can 
Yeah, he's been spotted now. All right. Shit. We'll just have to do it with this guy, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. I think we'll lose him, too. Come on. Tag him. Just keep on hitting him. See if we can't get him destroyed. If we can get one more shot on him, maybe. Damn it. He's still going to... Oh, we got it. Excellent. Oh, I'm so glad we got him destroyed. I was really worried about what he was going to do to our army. So we won there, but of course the problem is we didn't save any of those cruisers. That's, that's a damn shame, man. Uh, that's unfortunate, but I think we should be able to win now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab this point up. We don't have to worry about anybody dislodging us from that. I don't think so. I mean, they're going to attempt to, uh, but I'm not too worried about it. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this infantry up. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should be more worried, but we're going to bring some planes to support them or something like that. Let's have this recon unit come over here and move here. And from here, we'll be able to attack these uh, artillery units. We need to bring more troops over here. Uh, we need to get this guy dealt with. Why can't he? Oh, he can't attack from. Got it. Fuel tanks are empty. He's got no fuel left. Good God. Do we, are we not getting supply here? Yeah, it looks like we're getting supply. Maybe we'll get supply next turn. Uh, do we go in our truck if we go right there? I really can't tell. Looks like that's a no. So we should be able to attack him, get him destroyed. There we go. Excellent. Uh, let's go and get our tanks moving over here. Uh, we'll just place them right there for right now. They're the only ones going to come over here anyways. And then we're going to want to have our artillery fire on. I prefer their artillery, but it doesn't look like that's going to end up working for us. All right. We'll just bomb them right there then. Uh, we'll have to move. Bomb them. Try and get that anti-air destroyed so we can make use of our planes. Because as of right now, they're pretty much useless. Um... Yeah, they'll be able to bomb these fighters here, but yeah, not much else. I'd like to provide a bit of support over there, but we're going to need to get him refueled. And then come back home, my friend. Land. And then let's have this fighter here attempt to take out this guy. And then same thing, we're going to bring him home as well. Have him refuel. He doesn't really need the fuel, but if we want to support our infantry unit up there, we will need it. So this fleet will also be able to come over here and attempt to support that unit. We could help out here, but I really feel like that, that unit up there is going to need the most assistance. Uh, is there any other units that can currently move? All right, so this guy's refueled, but yeah, he can't go nowhere. What about this guy? Where's he at? Oh, he can't. Yeah, <laughs> he's not going to move anywhere. Um, this guy can't move further. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. Let's uh, attempt to get him over here to try and provide some support. Uh, what about this guy here? He can move a bit further as well. He can't attack anybody. I'll oh, we'll move him over here anyways. And now we're going to have to go ahead and take this point. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the artillery is going to be able to get it done. Uh, I want to be able to move him, though, uh, up here. So let's go ahead and start using these units first. Let me see here. Let's move... It doesn't matter. He can move afterwards. So we want to reveal that guy. So what I'm going to do is let's seize this point here. See if he can move here. We're going to wait to attack him until we hit him with the artillery. And that might be enough to destroy him. It was. Excellent. So let's go ahead and move our artillery over to here so they can start bombarding next turn. Uh, let's get these infantry grabbing that victory point. And now we only have one more victory point to seize, guys. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and have this guy come over here. I think he can also attack. Remember, there's the artillery that's providing support there. This guy's fairly weak overall, but he's an auxiliary, so if they decide to attack him, it's actually beneficial to us. All right, so let's let's have the, the tanks move over there. We'll move the recon across the bridge for right now. Tanks come on over here. Looks like he would actually have a little bit better odds against him. So let's have him do it. The artillery is going to provide a bit of support, but that's fine. Uh, and we did destroy him. Excellent. So we can now seize control of that, which I really want to do. Um, I wonder if we tack here, if we'll still be able to. Let's see. All right. So they're providing support again. It's expected. Get her done. Come on. All right, so we did a bit of damage to him. Let's seize this. Now I'm kind of really salty because I could have brought my planes over here to to refuel. 
uh, so that we could provide some support to those guys. But yeah, I didn't know. Oh, we couldn't have done it anyway. We got the anti-air. Never mind. Let me take that back. Anti-air still lives, so that wouldn't have been an option. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start moving these guys. I don't want to move too close to the artillery there where he's going to wreck our infantry, our, uh, infantry on the truck, so let's not do that. That'd be silly. Um, this guy, it's just irrelevant where we move him because he's not going to be all that helpful to us. Uh, we still need to take this point that I've been working on here. Uh, I would like to get it before the end here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can't get it done or not. Um, did everybody move? Looks like there's still a few units. Oh, yes. This guy needs to cross the river. Uh, that guy. This guy's probably just going to stay here. Although I'm tempted to have him come over here and seize some points. Yeah, let's have him do that. He's going to grab some points for us. And I think that is everybody that can currently move right now. This guy has not attacked yet. So, nah, we can't do it. That's right, anti-air. All right, uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be it, guys. It's going to end our turn. We have one turn remaining to get that victory point, and to keep this one. Most importantly, to keep that one. If they defeat him, we lost. That's game over. Come on, come on! Don't let him win. All right, this is it. Let's see what they do down here. Hopefully, they don't do too much damage down here. They're attacking that guy. That got the anti-air away from us, so that's important. Um. We still have control of that, so we've got to win. This is the last turn, guys. Uh, now that we have control of that, what I'm going to undo is bring this guy over here to support uh, an attack on these guys, uh, because obviously this is more important right now. That might have done some damage to him. I can't really tell. Uh, we could also attack that artillery there. It looks like he might. He has the potential to destroy us. Let's wait uh, to use him. And then this is our big unit here, guys. This is how we're going to win. I was going to bring him over here to support him, but now that's no longer needed. This is the last turn that we have. So let's bring him over here and get him attacking these guys. And hopefully this will be it. Um, He's really weak. Let's attack this guy. We could also attempt to get that guy destroyed so we can use our planes. But I don't think it's going to happen, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to use our planes over here. All right. And these guys need to repair anyway. Let's just destroy this one. Maybe. <laughs> Luckily, we've got a lot of attacks. He still has attacks. Excellent. Here we go. Artillery has been destroyed. We still have shots left. Let's go and hit the infantry. I'm pretty sure we're going to get this done, guys. I don't see how we could we could possibly fail at this. Uh, so let's go ahead and seize these points. Uh, we're going to just grab points up just for the sake of... I guess we'll go and shoot that guy. Might as well. Uh, grab these points up for prestige that we're going to be able to use. Uh, before we grab that point, we're going to want to get as many as we can. Uh, let's go ahead and hit them with the artillery. Oh, he doesn't have any. Ah, damn, he doesn't have any ammunition left. That's a shame. Well, this guy can probably do it. There we go. And, yeah, I don't, I don't see why we're going to... How we could have any issues with this. Can't see who's there, though, interestingly enough. All right, so seize that. I think having infantry attack would probably be the best way to do this. I'm surprised we can't see him at all. Do we have any auxiliary units that I can just kind of throw away at them? No, it doesn't look like any auxiliary units are going to be able to do it. Um, and you can't bring air force over here either right now uh, to assist. So instead, we'll just have to use, we'll use his infantry. They do better attacking fortified units. Hit him with this guy. There we go. And that's it. We can now seize it. Uh, let me just see if there's any other... We were, we're trying to get this. And what I'll do is I'm going to send some plane support down there to try and get done. Do, can any of our bombers reach him? I think all of our bombers are currently too far away. Yeah. So we'll have to use... We'll use our best plane fighter to try and get it... Oh, it's raining. Never mind. It's relevant. It's raining. Okay. Can this guy like get around them? Attack. I just want the prestige, honestly, guys. Though the casualties we're taking here are probably not worth the prestige that we'd get. Never mind. It's irrelevant. Can't get it. All right. Uh, I don't think that was probably a smart move. That was stupid. Is there anything else we can do here? We can go to grab up some more victory points here. Get some more prestige there. And I believe that's going to be it, guys. Yeah, there's nothing else we can get. That's the most prestige we'll be able to get. 
Let's just go ahead and move. This tank will be the winner. Golden victory, last minute victory here. Uh, so, as you can see, restoring units was extremely costly. It took all of the prestige that we got for the battle. Uh, so we're not going to get any prestige but what we have here. Uh, as far as losses, we only lost two infantry and then, of course, the naval units. Uh, we've got the Narvik Shield, which is a plus two range defense modifier to the HQ unit, plus the German Cross, uh, which is a plus one command point. So pretty useful overall. I uh, got a lot of kills, 23 infantry, 6 artillery, 4 anti-air, and 10 naval. So it was a good battle, I think. I think we did good. Got some headquarters experience, too. Let's go ahead and continue on, get our little cutscene. That we earned. My Führer, Germany received a strategically important bridgehead in the north. The base locations of our submarines and aviation forces have been improved. The export of strategic raw materials from the Scandinavian countries has been ensured. The operation was a success. The Holy Spirit of the German nation guides me. Halder, prepare the reward sheets. I hope that in the campaign against France, you will prove yourself as brilliantly as you did in Norway. You can rest for a couple of days. After that, you must go to the general staff to discuss the plan of the offensive against France. You are dismissed, sir. All right, guys, so sorry about that loud ass noise. Uh, my chair just made a loud noise. Um, felt like I was about to break it. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, the end of the episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to do the battle of uh, the invasion of France. I think it's actually in this game, I believe it's uh, the invasion of, of uh, France and the Low Countries all in one match. Unlike uh, similar games where usually the Low Countries are their own uh, battle. Uh, they're all in one battle here, uh, but I think there is actually another battle for France, though, uh, which you know, maybe we'll see, maybe we won't. Uh, let's go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this golden victory against Norway, which, as you guys saw, it's a very challenging victory. We were down to the last minute there, and we almost didn't make it, but we got it done. Uh, it's just a bummer that we didn't save those cruisers. That's quite unfortunate that we won't have them, because that would be really helpful to have uh, in any future battles, but... The important thing is that we won and we got a golden victory. Uh, so we're going to, uh, next episode we'll do the Invasion of France. Before we do so, we're going to spread our prestige and our HQ experience. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Also, leave a comment. I love talking to you guys. Let me know what you're thinking. What do you think we should get with our prestige? Love to hear your opinion on the matter. And thanks for watching.